you've talked for many years and we are friends. Happens to be that he's also one of the top winemakers in the world. And it happens to be I like to be friends with the top winemakers in the world. But it all boils down to friendship or wine? Chaim. So this is our uh, Cabernet Sauvignon of uh, private collection. Now, for only for the United States, Mevushel. Uh, vineyards from all over Israel. Uh, most of the vineyards from the, from the Galilee, part from uh, Zichon also. It's nice, it's smooth, very good color. People say that Mevushel affects the wine. Is it, it true? It is. Not? In what way? Well, for the short time, I think, this is my opinion, uh, in a positive way. Because so that means for 70 years that we live, it's for a positive way? Five years. It's, it's ready to drink, okay, uh, because it, it developed the wine, it aged the wine. Easy to drink, uh, I think for the, for the first three years, sometimes Mavusha is better. And uh, for long term... Uh, for long term, for aging, could be I, I prefer... But uh, most wines don't age, age more than seven years. Because you drink before. You think that's yeah. the problem? You, you like caramel so much, so you drink everything before. Try. How do you see being in a, making one of the top wines in Israel for a long time? How do you see Israeli wines turning the next 15 years? I think it's the best place to be now in Israel. Uh, the best time to be. Uh, we have so, so many plants and I think if you will taste in our wines, not, not only caramel, in Israel, in about 20 years, it's going to be amazing. What's going to shine more? Bordeaux blends, white wines, rosés, just Bissele super snacks. What do you, where do you see? Israel? I think we are in the middle of the of the rosé. The rosé trend. Trend. Uh, well, how do you see Israel settling? Like New Zealand is known for their Sauvignon Blanc, and uh, Burgundy is known for their Pinot Noir. How do you see Israel's? Or don't you see Israel settling in terms of a certain style of wine? And they will still experiment because you like you guys like challenge. We are still experimenting a lot of things, but definitely, if you're asking me, in Carmel, Carignan. Carignan. Carignan was planted here uh, 140 years ago, and it's still here, and we and we love it. So you're saying if there is one grape that you have to drink the rest of your life, it would be Carignan? Definitely. Wow. What's Kain. the last name of Karanyan? What does it affiliate with? Peretz. Peretz. Yiftach Karanyan Peretz. For example. I like the name. Huh? What does it mean to you when a wine gets a good rating in one of the magazines? Personally? Yeah. Um, it's nice. Nice in terms of, wow, somebody recognized my art. Nice in terms of, Wow, you're gonna sell out. Nice in terms of compared to the other wines that you look up in the world, sure. and I get the same recognition. It makes you feel like you worked towards something. First, the recognition is for the winery. Okay. I, I must, I must uh, say, it's nice. But sometimes, you know, we are, we are making a lot of wines. We are, we are dealing with a lot of um, uh, type of grapes, a lot of gores, a lot of uh, parcels and a lot of fermentation lots. And sometimes um, the wine that just got the award is not the best, the is wine. not the best for me. Usually the wine that you didn't want to release. <laughs> sometimes, yes. I know. But, Selavi? I smell um, uh, in this wine like very um, uh, fertilizer and stuff like that. Does it make sense? No. What am I supposed to smell in this wine? A Kegel. <laughs> I mean like um, animal poop. Ah. Yeah. So okay. I figured that's fertilizer. I didn't want to say ah. it on camera. Caca de poule. Caca de poule. Caca de poule. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense? Yeah. Do you smell it in the wine? Yeah. But in the bottom I, I, I smell I poop. like it. I also like it. But I, too much is also not good, no? So I smell it in the first layer. I smell it. And then as I smell, the fruits come out. Yes. I think this it's one would be perfect open. with lamb. 
and with the duck. And I must say that for me, tasting is much more important than smelling. Because uh, for me, the wine is sometimes the most important part of the wine is the body. Uh, I like medium body, for example. I prefer medium body, but, but it depends. I think it comes with time that you like medium body. Your palate develops, no? Yeah, definitely. And tasting is the most important. Sometimes a wine smells like wow, and then when you taste it... And nothing. Exactly, flat. Yeah. So for me, I prefer a good performance in, 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 in the mouthfeel. Uh, and if we have a good balance in the nose, I it's the perfect. I think the beauty of this wine is it doesn't smell like over, over the top. And it doesn't taste like over. It's a medium bodied wine. I think it's it very, medium very body elegant. That drinks medium body, it is medium bodied. L'chaim. It's a pleasure. I'll see you soon in New York. We're going kegel hopping. Yalla.